Okay, this is my Warco 280 VF lathe. Um, this has been a great lathe, but it's now out of warranty. And round the side here, you've got the control gears. And down the bottom here, this is the motor, which bolts through this place onto the side of the lathe there. That's the current uh, DC motor. Around the back here you've got two compartments basically. The bottom compartment is where the motor fits. The top compartment is where all the control gear is. Now you can just about see this is the power supply board and this board here is the speed controller board. Now um, I've had three speed controller boards so far. I know it's out of warranty, you're now paying about 120 quid for a replacement speed controller board. This is why I'm proposing to change the motor and use an input. The other thing about the um, any lathe basically, with the all the um, motor and the controllers in the back, is that to make any changes to anything, for example to uh, change the speed controller, you have to take the lathe away from the wall. Now, I only have a small space here, you can see the wall behind the lathe. I haven't got much room to mess with, so every time I have to do this, I have to swing the whole lathe forward into the middle of the, uh, the space I've got. So my proposal is now is to take the motor out from inside here, add all the control gear you through the inverter, mount the inverter on the wall there, and have the motor external to the lathe. This means from now on I won't have to keep on moving the lathe back and forwards. To OK, so here we are with the finished project. The, uh, the motor now is sticking out here. I've stripped all of the, uh, get the electrical gubbins out of the back of the headstock. So there's no more power supply, no more speed controllers. It's all being done by the uh, controller over there. This is redundant. It's left it in because I can be bothered to take it out. The speed display is now here. Uh, again there were the reversing switch and the on-off switch there, which I always thought was a bit ergonomically difficult. And the stop switch now is right here at the front. Uh, I'll put the wiring in the diagram at the end. So at the front here now you've got big green button to go forward, big red button to stop. That's also duplicated up. So I've got down here, um, This one sits on the, um, the slide and will cause the slide to turn off. So that's basically um, duplicated up with the stop switch and down here as well as the secondary stop switch. So those are all wired in. Not really terribly neat but I thought I'd do it that way. And the other switch here is a reversing switch. But I made that little small one so 9 times out of 10 I'll hit that rather than that one. Obviously then you've got the speed controller which controls the speed at the back there. So if I now press it on to go forward, the speed starts up quite nicely. Here it's going forward, although the video seems to make it look going backwards. Speed it up, into the speed display changing. You can see the current's changing as well over there. If I want to uh, stop it, I can press the stop button. I'm going to coast to stop. Uh, press reverse. There, reverse, and it will more or less go to the same speed to reverse. But again, adjustable on here. So I can make it do the speed I like to reverse. And that's about it, really. Um, so now there's nothing in the back of the uh, lathe apart from the, the power feed through to the, um, the various bits and pieces. So I've got a 12 volt power supply which feeds the um, speed controller. Obviously the box is doing all the uh, clever bits and pieces and there's the motor. I had to um, chop a bit off the, um, the guard as you can see uh, but it's still reasonably neat. Um, it does also mean that having everything outside here if for example I change the motor I can simply change the motor by taking off the cover. That's all I need to do. Okay I'll put in the, um, the diagram the, um, the logic layout for this. I think it's got a reasonable arrangement forward stop reverse and the uh, speed control and that's about it I think